Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got a great fantasy fight to talk about. This is like one of the most wished for fights that we never got to see happen. The stars just didn't align for it, but we're going to talk about how it might have went down. Prime Brock Lesnar versus Prime Fedor Emelianenko. So let's get right into it. Fedor Emelianenko, of course, is revered and praised. MMA legend, regarded as many as possibly the greatest of all time. Fader is a multiple time world sambo champ, he had knockout power, great timing and reflexes, good setups and trap standing, submissions off his back, good sweeps, nice trips and throws, great hips. Fedor in his prime had great recovery, a great chin back in the day, good cardio. In his day and in his prime, Fedor was a monster. He was so good that people wondered if he was a cyborg. Of course not seriously, but he really was something special. Brock Lesnar, super strong, a behemoth, top-notch wrestling, powerful takedowns. Brock in his prime could take a lot of damage, decent chin. He's never been flatline knocked out cold. He just doesn't react well to punches. He had or has nasty ground and pound, strong strikes by just being a giant. Not so much technique, but if he hits you, he'll smash you. For being such a big man, I would say pretty good gas tank. Brock also has crushing top control. Once he gets on top of you, you're not getting up, and he's just gonna Donkey Kong smash you. So how would these guys match up in their prime at their peak? Well, it's safe to say, and I doubt anybody would disagree, Fedor just had more tools to win. He could knock Brock out on the feet or sub him on the ground. I'd say via armbar. That's the most likely submission Fedor would catch Brock with. This fight would definitely hit the mat. Even though Fedor had good takedown defense, he was very good at hip tossing people, Brock would eventually take him down. Fedor, however, is really good off his back. He had lightning fast sweeps, he was snatching armbar in an instant, and he had really good hips. He wouldn't allow his hips to be controlled and just pinned. These are very likely scenarios for this fight if it ever went down. Brock ground and pounds Fedor for the stoppage. Possible. Brock is a damn monster. Super strong. If he has you on the bottom, he's just going to smash you for the stoppage. That's a likely scenario. Here's another one. Fedor KOs Brock on the feet, single shot or stops him via TKO. Brock could win a decision from ground control, remaining on top and takedowns. Fedor beats Brock via armbar or submission, also very likely. Here's my personal opinion and the verdict for me. Fedor wins this fight 8 times out of 10 in their primes. He was just way too skilled in his prime, tough, and many tools to win. I would never see Brock beating Fedor on the feet unless he landed some lucky haymaker. Fedor had very fast hands and strikes. His setups were awesome again. When the fight hit the ground, when, not if. Fedor was just great off his back. Super fast arm bars, stayed active. Like I said, didn't let his hips get controlled. Constantly moving, great sweeps. So do the math. Brock likes to be on top. Fedor throws slick arm bars off his back. Another thing to add, Emelianenko's great throws and trips. He was very crafty and tricky with them. He wouldn't necessarily be a walk in the park for Brock to take down. But Brock, I think for sure would. That's just my opinion. Another fact that'll weigh in, would this fight go down in a cage or would it go down in a ring? I think a ring would favor Fedor because of the stand-ups. He wouldn't be pinned against the cage. The cage is definitely a tool and a weapon. If they fall in the UFC cage, that would for sure be advantageous for Brock. But anyway, guys, that's my quick breakdown for this fantasy fight. I do 100% in my heart believe Prime Fedor beats a Prime Brock Lesnar. Please let me know what you think in the comment section, who you think would have won in their primes, and why. Thanks for watching the video, and until the next segment, take care.